Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you Sumo Paint. It's a nice little application if you can't afford Photoshop. Uh, it's web based and it works even better. Um, it comes with a lot of with a lot of uh, with a lot of features that are handy and much like Photoshop, it uh, it's just an amazing tool. And it's in beta, which means it's only going to get better by the time it's released. And even then, I'm sure they'll add even more features. So today I'm going to show you a quick run through, not a tutorial on how to do stuff, not a review of what I think of the application, but a just quick, uh, just a quick run through of the application. We're going to go to sumopaint.com. If you want, you could Google this. I'll have a link in the description. But yeah, just going to let it load. Sumo Paint. Not much, I don't know a lot about the developer or whoever did it, but these are just some preview images that people had created. And it's really amazing what people can do with just this one web based application. So I'm going to show you real quick Sumo Paint. Very, very amazing tool for being web based. Alright, so here is Sumo Paint. Sumo paint, sumo paint, sumo paint. As you can see, it looks a lot like uh, Photoshop, which is kind of awesome. It's sort of like a free Photoshop, if you will. Uh, right now, I'll just list off, list off a couple of features. They have the, the color picker, and they have some presets. It also shows you the number, which is just an awesome feature because I'll. I don't know how I would use that, but I know it would come up in the future for like JavaScript coding or some shit. I don't know. But uh, they have layers, much like Photoshop. Um, let me show you. You can load pictures off your computer even though it's web based. So I'll show you what I mean right now. Let it load. Okay, so I go to desktop. Um, go to this picture and I click open and it will load the, the JPEG onto Sumo Paint which is just amazing I've never known anything that can do that they have a blur tool so let's say I want to blur out this name okay and then I want to color that over so I click this and then I select my color which is white Okay, and then I just color it over. And if you go over the lines, it'll cut that out so you never have anything messy. Bear with me, guys. I'm extremely slow with this shit. And bam, there you go. It's it's done. It's you don't even know that it was taken by somebody else. And you can save the file to your computer. But I'm not going to. Um, it just has a lot of features like the brush feature. Looks like a dry brush, like Japanese brush. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. This was a t this is a walkthrough by Kiso sixty four. If you like the videos, you want to learn more about this stuff, including how to hack iPods, PS threes, Xbox three sixties, Wii's, computers, movies. You want to get movies, applications, torrents, written tutorials, JavaScript tutorials, home help with homework. We're not geeky. News, iPod Touch news, PS three news, all kinds of stuff like that. Then come on over to XB. 301xcenter.net where I'm a moderator and uh, we have over 2,000 um, 2, registered users so if you like to come down register and become part of the community we're always happy to help and uh, thanks I have a link in the description bye guys